Hey everyone, so if you're wondering why I'm speaking kind of quiet and weird like this, it's because I, it is currently 10.30 at night, uh, just about everyone is in bed and I'm trying to be quiet so I'm literally curled up under my covers recording this voiceover. Yeah, uh, cause you know what, today's video is gonna just like be a little bit different and put a lot more mayhem into the name Magenta Mayhem because you guys don't even know the half of it. There's a reason why I call myself Magenta Mayhem. It's because I am literal chaos just walking around. So, <laughs> in case you hadn't noticed, this video is very, very late. And I'm sorry if you can hear me like shuffling around in the bed covers. Like I'm just <sighs> not comfortable had a long day oh and by the way i am one of those people who wear like super oversized like fleecy pajamas so i hope you have that lovely image in your mind right now i'm looking real good so today or tonight i guess i wanted to talk about how starting an art business is bloody stressful Yes, I said bloody. I usually avoid swearing in my videos, but bloody is like a really, really good kind of descriptor for this, I think, because it all starts with me getting my period. No, I'm not. It, it actually started a bit before then. So for the last couple of weeks, I've been really, really productive and really proud of myself because I've been super productive and motivated and some days I, like, I even got out of bed at like 5.30 a.m. to go and do art stuff and I was so motivated and so happy. And then my period came and all of my like motivation was just like, eh, I still want to do this stuff but like I'm tired and everything hurts so I'm not going to do all this stuff. But what's random is that I still like felt the motivation, but I just like couldn't get the stuff done. So one thing that I've realized trying to do this whole art business thing is that um, it's really easy to like fill up your plate with way too much stuff because I've gone and done that to myself. And I'll be the first to admit I've gone and done that to myself, which is really interesting because like usually I'll just call myself super lazy but this time I'm looking at my to-do list, I'm looking at the time that I have, and I'm just like, yeah, no, you're done, you're done stuffed yourself over, Jess. So, um, some of the things that are really just, like, stressing me out, and by the way, I'm not trying to, like, make this video so that you guys can be, like, feeling bad for me. Don't feel bad for me. I've done this to myself. I'm an idiot. I know. Uh, I'm telling you guys this so that if you're starting as an artist and you, like, you want to start a business, don't make the same mistakes that I did. I'm an idiot. I'm I'm big, big idiot. You know, what? I'm not an idiot. I was just ambitious and uh yeah. Some things that I've been trying to get done this month are YouTube videos. Um obviously this one is super late. I am so sorry about that. And I feel really crap that I've made a late video yet again because I'm pretty sure that the first one was later than I wanted it to be and yeah I just feel really bad about that so I'm actually trying to make videos and I'm trying to make like like extra videos that I can put up when I'm sick or like when I'm getting my wisdom teeth out which is another thing that I'm really worried about because that's happening at the end of this month and I'm literally so scared because I'm going to like get an aesthetic is that how you say that? like there's going to be an anaesthetist and he's gonna make me like go to sleep and they're gonna like cut open my gum and drill into the bone yeah that's great I'm looking super forward to it but I've been trying to get like all of this YouTube and Magenta Mayhem stuff organized so that I'm oops drop my phone so that I am able to like, you know, keep consistency with uploading, but I haven't been able to do that because 
I'm also trying to do stuff like, uh, you know, actually go to work because I have like a normal job, which is amazing and I love my normal job, but obviously it means less time to do my stuff, more time to uh, sit around when I get home from work and just be like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. Yeah, I've also made like this illustration series that you guys still yet to see and I've been trying to make a website that would be ready to launch by the end of August which doesn't look like it's gonna happen because oh my gosh I have no time for anything and I've also been like trying to look into imprint and like printing stores like print on demand services and this brings us to Redbubble which I don't 100% want to talk about but we're gonna talk about it anyway so some of you guys may know that I put out a post on Instagram and I think YouTube's community tab um, just sort of saying and this was like earlier last week just sort of saying like guys I don't support Redbubble anymore because I had a bad email from them so I'll be shutting down my store yeah I didn't shut down my store I was stupid and I don't really want to get into it like with the receipts or anything like if you guys want to see screenshots obviously I have screenshots but I really don't want this to be like story time red bubbles screwed me over because they didn't I was just dumb so what happened there was I realized like maybe a month ago that um, I wanted to take all of this YouTube and art stuff more seriously and see if I can turn it into a side hustle hence why I've been trying to start up this art business stuff and I realized that I hadn't really gotten payment from Redbubble in a while and I was like, hmm, what's going on there? So I chased them up and I emailed them. I was like, yo, what's going on? They were like, oh yeah, no, our, our payment systems just aren't working super great. I think that's what they said, don't quote me. Like their payment systems encountered a problem that month. So they asked me to wait five to seven business days and so I did and still didn't get any money and I think I waited another week before I reached out to them again and I asked for an update and they were like oh we now have this like $20 thing no not $20 thing it's like a threshold thing you need to earn a minimum of $20 for us to pay you out and uh, that makes sense to me now that I'm thinking you know logically and soundly but in the email that they said it in, they got my name wrong for a start. They called me Jennifer instead of Jess. And um, the fact that I'd already been stuffed around, I was just like, are you kidding me? So I emailed them back and I was just like, are you kidding me? Like, you know, why was I not told this earlier? Uh, what What is going on here? Like, why, why did this happen? This is ridiculous. And... <laughs> I don't know I just felt like they'd handled it really poorly and unprofessionally and I'm kind of summarizing what was in the email like they also um, insinuated that I needed to market myself on social media more and I was just like you know what I don't want to pull rank you know what? even saying pull rank just sounds really up myself but I have a decent following I feel and even I find it pretty difficult to make red bubble sales and the reason why I, the only reason I have my red bubble is because I have noticed that a couple of you guys like to buy stuff from me and even though I would like to turn that into a business and maybe make a little money from it um it matters more to me that you guys like want my stuff in a sticker like that honestly makes me like so happy like my little heart explodes um yeah I had I had a train of thought Oh yeah, so Redbubble were like, oh, you can always try and market yourself on social media. I was just like, um, literally have in my email address that I was using to uh, talk to them uh, my YouTube name. So clearly they didn't search that up, which maybe they should have done because I've got a decent following. So I said all this to them. And I even said, like, I'm going to say in a video, like, how how poorly this has been treated. They didn't address that part, but they were just, they sent me back a really nice apology email that I received, obviously, after the Insta posts. And, well, no, it was an Insta story. 
and it was a community post on YouTube. A nice apology email and I was just like, you know what, maybe it's because I stomped my feet, but also I think mistakes just happen. And, you know, I'm really new to this whole art business thing. Uh, I think I was really stressed out because I was trying to get so much done with so little time and I just sort of cracked and if you're starting an art business try to set smaller goals <laughs> for a start one goal a month not a million a month don't return to YouTube and try to set up a website and try to make an illustration series and try to set up second heart and you know um, print on demand people don't try to do all that in one month right before you're going to get your wisdom to that that's ridiculous what did I what did I do this to myself for I don't even know um, so all of that happened which was great loved it and I wrote back to them a couple days ago and I said look I thought about it and I, I don't think that I had a right to talk to you like that and that's another tip that I have for you if you're starting an art business know when you're wrong because I knew I was wrong I knew I was in the wrong I think I, I think I was mean I think I was in the wrong so I wrote back and I apologized but I've still promised people a video explaining what happened with red bubbles, so there's your explanation. One thing I need to mention is that even though I've been super stressed and had a long to-do list, I have felt better than I ever have in my life. I felt maybe a bit more productive, not a lot, but I felt more capable. And even like with my period and with PMS, like. It wasn't as bad as it usually is. I'm sorry I say like so much. It's because I'm trying to think of what to say. So I fill in the gaps. Yeah, I've been feeling good about myself even though nothing has been working out. <laughs> and um, I think that comes down to some self-care stuff that I've been doing. So I wanted to quickly mention some self-care stuff that I've been doing. I would like to make like a whole video on artist self-care, but I thought that I would put it in this video. So one of them is like skincare, so I've been moisturizing, which I've never done ever before in my life, and it's made my skin so much nicer. <laughs> I've also decluttered a little. I'm getting interested in minimalism, and I would really like to just have less stuff so that my space is less cramped and I have less to worry about. Um, and I've also been journaling. It's a good way for someone like me who ha <laughs> seems to have a million thoughts. I hope you enjoyed this video, kinda, like if you did, I don't know, like, <laughs> let me know what you think, like, let me know some of your self-care tips, let me know if you're trying to start an art business, like, how's that going for you? So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video, I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.